All right. So we're looking at being able to observe uh, athleticism uh, this week. And we're primarily looking at this distinct action of shin angle change. So if I go to the assignment and kind of, there's all these Instagrams, right? Um, again, you could have looked at all of them. You could have looked at some of them. If I, before I go through the actual answers here, most of you look through one through three. So, uh, and again, very telling in the beginning, what does it mean? A lot of I'm not sure. Okay, getting closer, I mean, when you change direction, your shin and your knee connect in the same line when running. Okay, quickly changing angle direction. to move your shin at a different angle in the position you want to be in to make a move forward. Oh, that one's tricky. Not enough to fall forward, right? So yes, we do want the body to tip. We want to kind of initiate this fall, but we don't actually want to fall over. Okay. Changing speed, changing direction. Oh, I saw one on, oh, right here. So this person, I would probably give the star to of all of the above, means the place of the lower leg relative to the ground, okay? What's it for? Changing speed, changing direction, stopping, starting. Okay. I agree with this big purple. All of the above, it is not just for changing direction. It is from going from fast to slow, from slow to fast and changing direction. Of all those clips, I was like, hey, how many did you actually watch? And the biggest, and I get, I don't blame you, it's June, right? One to three, all eight is the second. So again, we have this block of, you know, uh, give me the least, give me the most honest, 9% didn't watch any and is just guessing, and that's kind of the nature of things, four to six. When I asked which video convinced you that this might be important to you, right? My guess, my guess is that the sport you like the most and the sport you want to get better at and improve, you went to that sport, okay? You'll look at, Basketball, my guess is that the gist of the people, the majority of the people who watch this are basketball fans and play basketball and want to get better at basketball. That's why they went to the basketball video. And that's why I labeled them instead of just putting a bunch of links. It was a way for you to organize that information. Second, we have tennis. I know there's several tennis players here, so I put that on there for a reason. And then I have a messy kick, a kick which is almost... As you'll see, it's a slowing of the body so that a kick can come through. Okay. I'm gonna pause on these last four. Let's go to some videos. And these are all from a gentleman. If, you, if you've seen, if you're the type, this guy bar running has an excellent Instagram. Uh, if you want to be learning stuff, I would give that due to follow. But basketball example, there's any sound sure if there is, but just again, notice that angle of the shin keeps falling forward. Notice his thighs relative to his belly. He's getting past a dude. My guess is he's about to go dunk, right? Basketball snippet. For the tennis people, Notice that kind of triangle, there he goes, there's the drop down. And as he slows, you'll notice the shin comes back up. Feet are not stagnant. As he hits the foot bends to also make the shin change. One time from the side. Again, not flat footed. 
Even when he resets, he pops up off the ground. Shining will change there. We go to X. So the messy kick. Sound on these guys. Okay, there we go. So replay that again without, if I can, to shut the sound off. Okay, oh, that was it. Okay, so again, as he slows himself down to plant for that kick, his knee almost comes backwards. So he's got to slow down his right leg to allow his left leg to accelerate. Look at that line. It's almost hyperextended. It's almost going the opposite direction, but that's gonna jam into the ground, slow him down so that his other foot can travel forward. And you notice his body continues over that foot. This is why he elevates off the ground, okay? Last one I wanted to go through, and this one I did want to play the sound. I could get it. Watch him stop. Goes down. Breaks into his route. Okay, oops. All right, let's kind of go back again. Down, 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 down. Let's see how much we picked up on the final set of questions here. When trying to move fast from being still, should I stay the same height, go up or drop down? There should be a theme. Orange. Drop down, okay? When trying to stop from moving fast. Now I understand why most of you put this here. I understand why most of you, again, maybe without really trying to understand, maybe to just get it done, maybe just to guess, again, completely okay. You said go up because if all of this has been, if shin angle is about going fast and I'm going to drop that shin, then I understand your mindset that, oh, okay, so I drop it to go fast. So that means I must go up to stop. But hopefully from that football video that we just watched, it still go down. So if I'm trying to stop, I need to drop my body. I'm going to change that shin angle in order to slow myself down. Okay, so again, this one should be drop down. And there are, there are different ways to do it. I'm just talking about the most biomechanically advantageous. Again, to drop. When trying to change direction, should I stay the same height, go up or drop down? Again, drop down. When you need to react quickly, return to serve, playing defense in the basketball, should you get lower, get taller, or stand at your nor normal height? Get lower. That's that waiting for the bus and then dropping into that low position. Lower is ready to react. Same thing, volleyball serve coming. You see people standing up tall with their leg crossed, right? They don't want the ball. And then you see the people dropping down, very alert, ready to go. They're ready to move and react. I get lower by dropping my butt. We disagree. I certainly can get lower by dropping my butt, but does it make the shin angle change? So I take these out. Shin angle. Right? 
Dropping down. I can't go forward very well from here. Shin angle. Boom. Now I can go forward. Okay. So I can drop my butt and dropping my butt is lowering my body. Dropping my butt is a little bit more of a slowdown. Drive your knees forward. You're figuring out that is where the shin angle forward change comes from. 90%. To create a shin angle, I must drive my knee forward. You got it at the end. I don't know if it was circumstance, but you got it. Drive my knee forward. I don't necessarily have to drop my butt because a lot of times when I drop my butt and my knee doesn't go forward, I'm sticking myself where I am. I'm dropping myself down instead of allowing myself to go back and forth. Okay. Stop here. Stop record.